Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be doing my full face natural glam makeup look. So let's start off with some primer. I'm using this just on my nose. It's the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. My nose, it, it just gives me problems. It doesn't look that great. So this product really makes my nose look flawless. And then for the rest of my face, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Um, this gives me such a beautiful glow. I love it. I have dry skin, so this is perfect for me. And then for foundation, I'm using the Armani Beauty Luminous Silk Foundation. This is my favorite foundation ever. I love it. It looks so pretty. Um, you'll see me blend it out and everything. It looks so good. It's very natural. It's not heavy duty. It doesn't look cakey. You can still see your skin peeking through, so I love it. I use it all the time. My skin was definitely going through a rough patch when I filmed this video, but now I'm in recovery mode. I'm looking a lot better, but you'll be able to see here, look, my skin still looks like skin. You can see my acne, you can see my freckles, but it still looks natural, not heavy, not cakey. I love this foundation. So now for eyeshadow primer, I'm using the Maven Beauty Cream Eyeshadow in Coquito. And then I'm using a setting powder that I have from CoverGirl. It's by, well, it's their Ready Set Gorgeous setting powder. It's super old, but I want to use it up. I don't want to waste the product. So I just set the primer with that powder and then boom, eyebrows are filled in. And then for the eyes, guys, super easy, super simple. I'm using the bronzer palette that I'm using for my face. I'm taking the lightest shade. This is the Alamar Cosmetics Fair to Light Bronzer Trio. Put that light shade right in the crease, going back and forth, and then I deepened it up a little bit. Like, this look isn't even that deep to begin, you know what I mean? It's super light. So I just deepened it up a little bit with the dark shade, and then I took the lightest shade and then put that all over my lid just to brighten that up. And then the eyeshadow is pretty much done. So now to finish up the eyes, I'm using the Physicians Formula Eyeliner in Brown. And if you're an OG subscriber, you know I used to use this all the time. It's just so easy to use. It's an amazing eyeliner. I picked brown because it's a little bit more wearable than black. And I did a baby, baby wing, guys. Little wing. This is my Hourglass Concealer. I'm just concealing my under eyes. And I did clean up the wing a little bit. Nothing crazy. Um, so yeah, this is my regular technique here. And then to set that concealer, of course, I'm using my Givenchy Prisme Libre Loose Powder. So good. Okay, so to finish up the eyes, I'm just taking the darkest shade in the bronzing palette and just putting it on the outer third of my lower lash line and then just blending that out, nothing crazy. And then for false lashes, I don't know why I get so cute and try and like switch it up. These are so pretty. I love them. They're the Demi Wispies. No, these are the regular Wispies by Ardell. So I usually don't cream contour, but today I was like, you know what? I, I really like the way it looks when I do it. So I'm doing it. Why not? This is the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. This is the Fair to Medium shade, I think it is. It's the lighter shade. These are like so hard to get now. But I blend it out with a little sponge, and then the key is to then take your like foundation sponge and then go over it, and then boom, look how pretty that looks. So I put it right there, I'm blending it out, because nobody who does cream contour will show you the whole process. They like look crazy, and then in a second, they look beautiful. And you don't know what happens in between. So I'm showing you exactly what happens. Granted, I'm not the best cream contour person ever, but this works for me. And if you're struggling, this might work for you. So blend it out with a sponge first, and then take your foundation sponge and your concealer sponge, and just go over it, and it will look flawless. So. After that, taking my same bronzer palette, taking that shade, and kind of just setting that cream contour. Um, same areas where I contoured, I used this bronzer, so yeah. And then I realized I messed up because I also wanted to use cream blush, and I didn't want to go in with powder until after the cream blush, so I messed up. But I was like, you know what? It's not stopping me. I'm still going to use cream blush. I got these little blush samples from Rare Beauty, and I really wanted to try it. So this one's in Bliss. Super pretty, guys. I love this. And it didn't look bad with the powder, you know, with the contour powder. Um, you know, I still recommend doing all the cream first and then the powder, but this did not look bad. It looked really pretty, very natural. I love it. I did set this cream blush with the Alamar Cosmetics Fair to Light Blush Palette, that middle shade right there, just to set it in place, and it looks so pretty. I don't know, am I crazy? I thought it looked really pretty. So here I'm just baking, nothing crazy. And then as a highlighter today, I'm using the Benefit Cookie Highlighter. This is really, really crazy, so I used my fan brush by e.l.f., and it's still packed on. 
you know, a boom boom highlight. Still looks really, really pretty though. Also hit it in my inner corners just to brighten everything up. I feel like it really brought the look together in my opinion. So now I'm just blending everything out. I completely ripped my earring right out of my ear. Hurt so bad, you guys get to see it in action. Um, so yeah, I blended everything out. And then for lips, I'm using the LA Girl Spice uh, Lip Liner. Topped it off with Wet n Wild's Fluffer Nutter. Such a weird name, but let me tell you guys, this is my favorite lip product ever. I love it, love it so much. I used my favorite setting spray, MAC Fix Plus. Just put that all over my face. This is a good setting spray if you have dry skin. It just, whatever like powdery look you have on your face, this just takes it away. And then boom, look is done. It's a beautiful look. I really like it. It's like, you know you have makeup on, but it's such like a natural soft glam. I don't know. And you can switch it up with whatever lip color that you want. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Um, you don't even know. I will see you in my next video. Bye.